What's up, YouTube? This is Gene Sarax, dude. Thanks for tuning in again um, here at my house. Uh, so I just wanted to go over uh, installation of the, thanks to Jason Dimitrov. Um, hope I pronounced that right. Sorry if I didn't, my apologies, no disrespect. Um, so he made these brackets here, which allow you to use uh, SI model rear sway bar. <clears throat> um, so all you need is the rear sway bar, the end links, and then um, SI or aftermarket um, lower control arms. So let's see, let me show you the lower control arms. Lower control arms have the thread for the um, end link here on the top, if you can see that. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is uh, install the lower control arms. So it's just three bolts. This bolt here, that bolt there, and the bolt here. Um, once you do that on both sides, so you have the left side and the right side. Uh, let's see there. Move that bolt here. So then, get that guy out. Next thing you are going to do is grab your fourteen millimeter socket. What we are going to do is remove this tow hook bracket. Oh, that was grime. Make sure you wear. Make sure to wear some eye protection. I don't want to get any of this road gunk in your eyes. So we'll pull up both sides here. The reason I like this is because there's some other kits that require you drill into the body or into the frame. And personally, I despise that. If I install something, I want to be able to convert back to, to, to stock form if need be. Okay, so we have that there. Let's keep the camera right there. And then we can go ahead and lift the bar. And of course, of course I don't have the um, So, actually, let's go ahead and start off with the end link here. 
It'll make our lives easier because then it'll be another a point that's holding up the uh, the bar. upper bracket here. You just want to align all three holes. Don't tighten it down all the way. side here. to get these threaded in then you can drive them in. This one's wanting to give me a little trouble because of this build up on the end here. some kind of adhesive there. Watch out for your face. upside down I'm trying to focus on my breathing <laughs> drive all these 
Make sure they're pretty snug. There we go. All right, and there you have it. There's the mounting bracket there, the OEM sway bar. And that's in place. It's all just like stock. You have adequate clearance here. Of course, you're gonna have your exhaust right here in this section. So, um, that's gonna be important to account for. Um, I know on my stock SI, I have my uh, new speed um, new speed bar and it sits pretty close to the uh, OEM sway bar as well so uh, just a few things to consider make sure we snug these down so again I got the brackets from Jason Dimitrov on Facebook he's definitely a legit seller um, always remember, keep the EFs on the road. Um, oh, some dirt on my face. Um, keep the EFs on the road. Subscribe to the Homies Young Static, uh, Panda EF9, um, Garage Built Hondas, Lazy Man Garage, Deadbeat Hondas, EF Buddies. Thanks for, for watching and have a good day.